a, a tough game in the end was a, a point apiece of fair reflection? Um, it's hard to say. I think the, the start of the game, we were we didn't start the game very well. We looked a little bit nervy. We didn't seem to be a, um, you know, on top of what we were doing. But then I thought, and we lost a goal kind of on the back of that. Uh, but then we got we got going after that. I think we uh, we actually put in a decent uh, 20 minutes or so towards half time. And I thought in the second half we came out and did well. We dominated a lot of the game. Queens Park were dangerous on the break. But um, no, I must admit it was uh, it was one of those games where you're just looking for that that last chance to go in. At the same time, Robbie made a couple of saves, and I think honestly I think it's a big step forward in a lot of ways because I think in the first few weeks when I was here. I felt like we were always going to lose a goal when the game was open or I felt like we were going to be losing a goal on, on, on a, a set play or something like that. But we look a lot stronger, a lot more solid now. Robbie did have to make a couple of saves, as I said, but they were good saves. Um, but we had a lot of pit territory, a lot of possession, a lot of opportunities. I think that um, there's obviously a lot of room for improvement, but in my opinion, there's a good step in the right direction. And today, you could feel the fans really getting with the team, really driving us on, being excited about it and I, I, I like that, I think that's what, what can really help us a lot is, you know, and I know that um, that, that that happens with the, with the fans is like when they see the team really going at it, giving it everything they've got, doing their best, they, get, you, they give you that extra energy. So we felt that really today, so that was good. That, that kind of stability and that robustness in your team now that you mentioned there, is that, do you think, linked to the fact that you've now got a more experienced backline? You've brought in guys like Watson and Taylor Sinclair, Paul Dixon's back again, mm -hmm. and, uh, of course, Stephen Hetherington back in the squad as well. Yeah, and also, you know, Keegan Jacobs did a good job a lot of times covering little things that people don't notice but did things, you know, well. Also, you've got to remember a lot of these players are just getting up to, to match fitness. I think we've got a much more uh, stable foundation to build from. Um, so I think, you know, as we get in through a few more weeks of really building it and building it, then I think we'll start to see us really start to, to, to go, which will be good. And is that the positive message to take from today, the fact that you feel from this point onwards the team it's going to get stronger and stronger. I definitely think that. I think, you know, we've not really had the same lineup back to back yet. We've not really had guys, um, you know, it, you know, there's a number of guys involved that have been out for a little while and they're just getting back, but they're doing well for, for that. But I think there's, their levels are much more, they're higher, and they'll show that over time. What was it that made you decide to put Paul Dixon and Keegan Jacobs back in today? Uh, well, Keegan Jacobs, you know, I think he's just got got to get match fit. I think he's he's you know obviously a good player. He's been playing at high level, and um, I think he can add a lot to our team. So I just wanted to try and help him. It's a little bit like you you've got to focus on the, the season and winning the games, but you've also got to think about it a little bit like preseason in terms of getting people fit and, and healthy and used to playing together. So that was partly why there. Um, obviously, Paul's an experienced player. He was training all the time with us, so even though he had a cast on and he couldn't play, he was still training. So maybe fitness, I wasn't so worried about fitness. But I also thought Leon, Leon McCann did really well when he came on, and uh, I thought all the guys did. I think that you know we've, we've got 16 players out there on the pitch, and uh, guys supporting them from the side. So we've got we're getting that that kind of unity and that connection between the team. Uh, there's a lot more competition, um, training's getting a lot more intense, so the signs are positive, we're moving in that right direction, it would be nice to get another goal there at the end, but at, at the same time I think that's, that's something we can definitely build on. Improvement as well in the character of the team, because we've had three or four chances, unfortunately we couldn't take them and then suddenly we went a goal behind. Now, mm -hmm. in previous games, that's when the heads, I, I feel, probably would have dropped, and that didn't happen today. Yeah, no, there's actually plenty of character in there. I think there's a, there's more leadership now to help them, and I think the character's coming out. The guys are getting getting stronger. They're believing in themselves a bit more. We need to build on that, build on that, build on that, because character isn't just uh, not losing goals. It's getting on the ball when you're under pressure and helping your teammates so that so they can make an easy pass instead of maybe longer balls. So there's a lot to improve, but we're making progress, and, and I'm not I'm very confident in their character, but also. They're good, they're good people, like they want to help each other, they want to help the, the, the club grow and now we need to give them that platform and, and help to do it. We seem to be really building a kind of head of steam in the last 15 minutes of the match and the crowd were, as you say, were, were really getting behind the team. Did you think they were going to nick it at the death? I thought so, I thought we had a couple of good chances to do that and then we had the one incident where the ball came across and, uh, and, and you know, we ended up getting off the post but the ball had been a judge to have gone out before that. So, uh, But yeah, we had a lot of free kicks, a lot of opportunities around the box um, and I thought thought there was there was a lot of good signs there. At right at the death obviously we have to ask the, the red card for Aidan Nesbitt has that been for something that's been said because nobody saw a tackle or anything? 
Yeah, he tackled the linesman. <laughs> no, I think there was something said. Um, so the, re the linesman and the referee decided that was a straight red, which is a little bit, little bit surprising. But um, yeah. Can we ask also uh, Callum Morrison? A few of the fans were, were messaging in to say he's not in the squad today. Is he injured? Uh, he's got an, a slight knock at the moment, so uh, yeah, he wasn't in the squad today. But nothing too serious, I take it. I don't. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know that. But uh, we'll see soon, I think. Of course, we're in action again midweek. Uh, Alawa, your thoughts on that one? Yeah, looking forward to it. I think uh, you know, having having seen a, a good response after the first 20 minutes or so today we now need to look to build that momentum into the next game uh, it's a you know a local local derby i'm sure we'll have a good number of fans there even though it's midweek and so it'll be a good atmosphere and we're looking forward to it